Hey, Good yo, morning, yo, yo, guys. Welcome up, back guys? to vlogs, daily vlogs. It's a beautiful day out here in Colorado. Me and Andrew are both wearing tank tops, shorts. We both have socks, that ankle socks. Uh, Mid calves, get them right, dude. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. But we are at Whole Foods right now because I'm getting a. I wanted a quick snack before we begin today's adventure on the vlog channel. Andrew, do you want to tell them what we're doing today? Yeah, remember a couple vlogs ago, we went to the castle down in Manitou Springs, but it was closed. So now we're going earlier in the day, so it'll be open. And we have the drone too, so we're gonna get some cool castle shots like this comment. We remember you said you wanted us to do castle drone. And look, we're on Periscope right now. Say hey guys. Every time we, me and Andrew do Periscope, everyone is desperate for us to say, to film you guys. They want to be in the vlogs, which is epic. By the way, I cracked my screen, as you can tell on my phone, in the prank. So I got to get a new phone sometime soon. Muchas kombuchas. They created a whole section of real life kombucha. What is this? Delicious so, water? Kefir? Dr. D's? I've never had a kefir before. I don't even know what that means. Live probiotic, I guess. While we're at Whole Foods, we ran into Olivia. If you guys remember, when I was at the airport, I ran into her, <laughs> but she didn't get to meet Andrew. So now we're all so together. So yeah, meeting. long time fan. Thanks for watching, Olivia. I'm getting this because it sounded really good. Jun Kombucha, Raspberry Goji Rose. And it's a cool bottle too. Yay. What are you getting? <laughs> I'm trying this delicious water from Dr. D. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I know. So, hopefully it's good. Yeah, I'll I'll do a review for you guys, I guess. What'd you find? A salmon bar. <laughs> Never seen something like this before. I'm gonna try this as well. This is gonna be a very <laughs> odd snack. It says it's wild caught salmon, so that's really cool. Yeah. And it's wow, a lot of protein. So yeah, I think I might try one of these bars. Try this. See how good it is, okay? Okay, guys. Wow, that's interesting. It doesn't taste much like kombucha. It tastes more like a tea. Got goji berries and raspberries and rose petals. Oh no! There's flowers in here. <laughs> now you try that. Back of the bottle says it has over three billion probiotics per bottle. Sounds like a lot. Oh, and it's made in Colorado too, so that's mm. fabulous. It says it's Concord grape flavor, which I don't really taste that very much. That's interesting. Very good though. It's good. It's water. Keeps you hydrated, I think. And if it's got probiotics, then win-win. Yeah, I will go poop later. And I was really excited to try this bar. It's from Primal Kitchen. I've actually, I almost bought some of these online. And they had them here, so this is cool. They're dark chocolate almond with grass-fed collagen. It's got tons of good ingredients in here. It does look good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm no complaints. This tastes fabulous. I, I, oh, I really like this packaging. It's epic looking. <laughs> That is so weird. Yeah, it tastes like fish, but it's like a, like a dried out, like, you have to like fish to begin with. So if you like fish, it's probably like a seven. But if you don't like fish, probably like a two. Plus it's got 13 grams of protein. And zero sugar, so, so that's nice. That, these would probably be really good snacks, like if you're on a hike, like on the go. Yeah. Here we are. Marimount, you were right. Yay! Man, that drink was good. I just finished it and after the first sip was like it was good But then after drinking the whole thing. I was like man, this is actually really good. The castle is right over here So let's go the castle entrance You okay? I have big toes Okay, We're going in no admittance. Why are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> JK all right, what is this? It's uh, some sort of toy. 
This is a firefighter area. Yeah. I want to ride this toy. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to the conclusion that the beginning of this tour is a firefighter museum, which is fairly cool. Oh, okay. I'm not kidding. It's cool seeing all the old tools that they used to use back in the day. Whoa, that's such a cool hat. I know, it's like ultra rare. Wear a real fireman's helmet and take your picture? Holy, yes! Crap, that's a fire! Hey, get the hose! Where's the hose? I don't know, you're supposed to bring it! You didn't bring it? No! Oh, crap! Oh, well, just attack! Look how cool these hats are. Why'd they change them? These are fire helmets. I don't know. Now, what'd you say? Now this is the castle. Yes. Wow. Oh. She said that this is all, nothing's been changed here. Like this is how it's built. You know who she say built it? Like, I wasn't listening. I think, if I remember right, she said it was like some French um, man and his mom built this. They're rich. We're about to go in here. Oh, are we? I don't know. Does this mean we can go in, guys? It's like blocked off. Right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The fireplace. This piano dough. This is so cool. So here's the dinner area. While you're eating, you can get creeped out by whoever this thing is. It's kind of scaring me. The ancient kitchen. Not bad. What was that? Is this castle haunted? <laughs> Who is that? Cynthia. Oh, okay. What's this mini room? What? Is this like the timeout chamber? That's kind of weird. Or a sauna. Not a sauna. <laughs> they don't have those. Look how old these Bibles are and how cool they are. Whoa. That's so epic. I want to read it. Oh, sorry? Hey. Uh, hello, Jesus. Church is about to start, guys. We gotta get a good spot. Yeah. I like the back row. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to church. Now, today we're talking about sandwiches. Whose favorite sandwich is whose? You! What? Oh. What is your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich? Uh, tuna? Uh, this will not be tolerated. Sorry, I, this is my first time at church. I didn't know that was the wrong answer. Oh crap, I'm running late for church. Hopefully there's a seat in here. Uh, Please, sit down. Yeah. Now, thank you all for attending service today. We like to begin every service with a, a hymn. Please rise. Where is the piano man? Anyways. Give Maria. <laughs> Andrew and I would really love to borrow that. We've actually wanted to just walk around like in public in a night suit. That'd be really funny. But we can't get in here. <sighs> Great. Guess what? What? It's locked. Yeah. Why can't we go down there? We want to go in the dungeons. This is way fun to explore a dungeon, but they lock it off. Hurry, get the drone. I know. I'm trying to see if there's anything down there. I don't know what that is. It's covered up. What? Uh-oh. Yikes. Shh, we have to be quiet, guys. Andrew found something. He found a hint. I was peeking over the edge, and look what I found. The doorknob.
I thought there was a key. We're on a secret mission, guys. We will figure out what's down there. We just gotta go upstairs first. This controls just this light. Oh, it's broke. This would be actually kind of creepy to explore at nighttime. Yeah, it can so like the woods. <laughs> and it'd be fun to film like a short film in here, like a creepy, creepy film. This is dad's bedroom, I suppose. This man's name is Half Flight Fred. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. He's got cool glasses though. Fun history fact, this note says the boys wore skirts until they were about three years old and this was it. That's pretty interesting. Why don't we do that now? I don't know. You can start that new tradition with your son. No. He monkeys. This is awesome. Oh, it says do not take photographs. Fine. Look guys, we found the prototype for virtual reality headsets. This, what do you see in there? I see a trained Man, they did a good job. I wonder how old that is. Andrew, do you need to use the toilet? Yeah. Ah! What? The, what? <laughs> There's a master in the toilet. All right, we're at the end of the tour, pretty much. But we're very curious about the gate. Mm -hmm. Should we go explore it, guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We have to. We just have to. So we found a piano that they let you play. And this piano is 100 years old. So don't break it, dude. I won't. Let's. Songs, please. Conquer in the Savior's name. Yeah. Do you know how to read notes? I do, but I don't know how to play it on the piano. I don't know how it corresponds. Oh. Well, right. If I did, I could try, but I have no idea. Okay. That's where the, the fire place is. The firefighter exhibit is right behind that door. <laughs> I don't know why this is here though. Maybe it's like a secret exit. Maybe it's just like, crap, we gotta get out of here, go down there. That was intense though. We did get to explore some secret entrance. Thank goodness, <laughs> castles are full of mysteries. I know there's more here, but how? <laughs> because every castle has its secrets. Well, General, I think our time here is done. We went in the dungeons. It's time to go. Okay. Dad? <laughs> Imagine waking up in this room. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Or just waking up in your regular room and these are just randomly all around you. <laughs> okay, see how high up we are right now? I'm gonna just walk over here. And there's a road. Huh? I don't know. 
all done with the tour. Now to show you guys some epic drone shots of where we're at and of the castle. Let's do this. We're here to win some money. All to win some money! <laughs> How's this work? Oh, the 98K giveaway, man. So what you do is you give us your lucky six digits, zero through nine. Okay. Punch them into here, and then you see what happens. If you win, get the money. Put it in your lucky six digits. <gasps> Sequencing. Thanks for trying. Come on, lucky numbers! Let's go! Oh, oh, no, didn't you? Darn it. Well, we tried to win. The radio station here in the Springs was giving away $98,000. But you have to pick six numbers in a sequence in the numbers zero through nine. So it's really hard. But they're going to be doing it again next weekend. So I guess we'll try again. So we didn't win. Or did we? <gasps> <Stop>. <laughs> Today is a great day. National Donut Day, yeah, yeah. You guys know how much I love donuts, and I actually haven't had a donut in a really long time, so it's gonna be so nice today to sink my teeth into a nice, tasty donut. Let's go. Goodbye, Buford. No donuts for you. Here it is. I don't understand why if you get a frosted donut, Dunkin' Donuts puts it face down. All the frosting sticks to the bag. Are you kidding me? The line today wasn't actually too bad. I feel like it's worse on just regular Sundays. So that was nice. Aha. No, Beaver, no, mine. Did you know that National Donut Day actually has some real meaning behind it? World War One. the ladies would make donuts to give to the soldiers to remind them of home. Oh, such a fun day today. Andrew and I had so much fun exploring the castle and honestly, I wanna do some more uh, exploring. I don't know if you guys wanna see more, but if you do, if you want Andrew and I to sneak around and find some more fun abandoned buildings or just places like what we did today, maybe more castles, because there are more in Colorado, then leave a thumbs up and we'll definitely do more of that. Yeah, that's really it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye. Hey, what's up? I was just wondering, uh, never mind. I